Tobin here, 5D Lifestyles, 5D Fungus. We are uh, just giving you a little tour of my mushroom growing operation, all right? It's not massive, but it's bigger than a home operation. I'm pretty proud of it, I wanna show you it. So, I've shown you my lab. The point of the lab is to make mycelium. The mycelium being the vegetated body of fungus. And um, you know, you need the mycelium before you have the mushroom. The point of the grow rooms are to make mushrooms. So this is an outdoor grow room, a uh, little non-energy supplemented grow room. I'll show you that in a little bit. Fortunate enough to have my operation inside these nice thick earthen walls. Walls, thanks to my mom and my sister. Um, these earthen walls called tapia hold a nice steady temperature, which is ideal for mushroom growth. So I was able to build simple structures. So here we go. All right, right here, this is my pasteurization station. All right, this is also double use as packaging. So I have a nice big basket that goes in here um, where I can pasteurize sugarcane or whatever else I choose to pasteurize, grass, whatnot. I have this nice pulley system that I after I've held it between that temperature range for one to two hours, hoist it out, I'll do a video on pasteurization. Once it's drained, I dump it on this table and add mycelium created from the lab. Pretty cool. And then I put it in the spawn room. So I got a whole video about my spawn room. So this is where that mycelium that has been made by pasteurization grows. But the other zone here is my grow room. So this is one grow room. I got another grow room on the other side. Um, so this room is virtually harvested. It's had a nice round of shiitakes in it. And so the grow rooms again are to make mushrooms. Yeah. This is my small grow room, all right? This is my first grow room. I've literally remade this thing numerous, numerous times. Some I've mimicked Paul Stamets grow rooms, but just on a much smaller scale and a more economic scale. So because I'm inside this earthen house, I was able to make real simple grow rooms with these wood um, frame and then a nice waterproof barrier with the plastic. Um, I've got these awesome little humidity sensors that are able to turn on my humidifier. Um, I'll show you that inside. Now let me show you inside these beautiful grow rooms. So we've got the double door system so that uh, you know we do our best to keep the bugs out. So this is the inside and uh, you know not that long ago I turned on the humidity so that I can show you but normally when the mushrooms are in this stage I actually wouldn't have them on. I'm just you know showing it for you guys. Um, so this is the inside of one of my grow rooms. Probably seen this grow room before, or maybe you haven't. The point of the grow rooms is to grow mushrooms, right? So um, it's doing its job. So basically, what do you need to grow mushrooms? Well, you need your mycelium to fully colonize whatever substrate it's on. So that means fully colonize this block, which is done. Basically, you need oxygen, drop a temperature, light, and moisture to initiate mushrooms. And so. Each mushroom's a little different on how you do that, but the grow rooms basically are built and designed to accomplish those things. And so this plenum right here, this is the plenum, so it's delivering oxygen. Oxygen is being pumped in here with a fan. In this particular room, the air goes this way, all right, out two out holes on either side here. On a dry day, if I'm trying to keep this um, grow room at a high moisture level, well, if I just was pumping in pure oxygen, it would dry out even with this humidity going. So this thing has got a switch here valve and that has got a, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's got a mister inside the plenum. And that way when I'm delivering oxygen into the room, I can turn on that mister so the, uh, the oxygen actually gets dampened a little bit. So depending on the, the humidity outside and what I'm trying to accomplish inside, that will be on or off, right? Right now it's off. And like I said, normally a humidifier would be off too, but I'm just got it on for effect right now. And so that's the uh, the second line, of, or that's the second thing is humidification. So if you look up here, I've got misters on the ceiling, so those deliver a very fine mist. Mist, all right. They're on both sides. In this room, there's five misters up top. And so if I need to make it rain, I can turn on those misters on a timer. They're basically I just modified garden setup with electronic switches. I've got them on a timer so those can deliver mist. To be honest, I rarely use them because humidity like this is way better. So this is my design humidification system. I basically took a Tupperware, took the lid off, um, put a float so it will always keep water in it. And then I've got this handy dandy little thing. So I'm gonna pull it out of here. Won't hurt it because it's got a water sensor. So when there's water over that, it will work. So those three discs are ultrasonic discs that essentially vibrate when they're on to put out that humidity. 
it's in a little float so it stays in the tank at just the right level so once i drop it there we go back in there it's going to start to deliver humidity again so that this is the ideal kind of humidity that's in there you see it just hit the thing and so the way i have it delivering is i got like a nice little kind of y off here and this is on a ball valve so if i put more it can deliver more or i can even turn it all the way off when i'm cleaning the room so that's that um and then this is while we're here is the oxygen so i can govern the amount of oxygen that's in this room and uh yeah the float keeps the water in there so that's basically how i deliver humidity between the mister inside the plenum this humidifier and the misters on the roof i can find the the perfect range of humidity for these mushrooms you can see it's quite beautiful watching the uh humidity cruise through the room um so that's oxygen and humidity as far as light i have supplemental um artificial light and then i also get a nice natural light um i might be able to get away with this much natural light to be honest i think i could probably operate this room without that supplemental artificial light most all grow operations for mushrooms do pure artificial light because they need to hold the right temperature since my grow rooms are a room within a earth rammed earth structure i can get away with having these windows because i have this big overhanging roof so i get a lot of great natural light without really affecting the temperature of the room which is awesome because it does help to get these mushrooms more vitamin d all right so most all the mushrooms i grow are phototropic really the only mushroom there's only a few that grow in the dark the main one being butt mushrooms all right so those grow in the dark my mushrooms need a little bit of light all right shiitakes rishis oysters all that kind of stuff my talking they need some light and uh what was the fourth the temperature drop so we kind of talked about it um the tapia the earthen wall house gets enough of a temperature drop where i do good in that that realm if you have a place where you don't have that luxury your temperature isn't as steady as here and you're not inside an earthen house you might need to put in some sort of uh refrigeration unit to drop the temperature cool so that's basically the grow rooms the cool thing about mushrooms you can grow them on racks all right so i've got a series of three racks here to uh, maximize as much mushroom growing ability as i possibly can and um pvc pipe easy cleanable um because i clean these rooms every time i change them out i have two air vents that go out and those go into a bigger drum. I designed kind of a system so that they will uh, be able to get spores out, but um, not stuff themselves. When I just had them as just these vents on an oyster room, they would block the, um, the vents and the room would almost explode every hour. So I designed that that big 55 gallon drum system and that seems to work, especially in a shiitake room. Um, I did have fans on both of the out vents they stopped working but they are kind of a nice thing to have to move air out um just kind of keep a flow going because that's what you're trying to do is keep even flow through the room which i will be honest the top rack is much better than the bottom rack the mushrooms get a little more oxygen so they when i'm time to dry out they actually dry out a little bit better but so that's basically the gist um the way the humidification system runs is this is a humidifier sensor so it's on a digital gauge that i can prom program the humidity to be set at i don't have anything to be able to dry out the room although you could um i just have something to give humidity so i actually prefer when it's dry climbing outside to grow mushrooms because it's easier to add humidity than take it out but that's basically it on my mushroom my mushroom growing operation i'm stoked oh yeah yeah the the drain where does the water grow so i've got a drain down the center of this room right everything's angled to the center and then down and out right i've got a little filter stuffed in there so nothing can come back up in here um nice waterproof floor so that's how i've done my drain you can hose down this room with this hose right over here super easy to clean this thing out and um because you do want to keep this room nice and clean um very important so yeah thanks for tuning in that's 5d fungus grow room tour in effect cha cha cha, -cha.